hey guys welcome back to another video on my channel thanks for tuning in don't forget to comment like and subscribe so to start off with this look i just basically went in with my hydrating primer and put it all over my face i also went in with this illuminating becca primer to help give me a nice glow um and i just put that all over my face using a flat brush and it helps give a nice glow underneath your foundation so speaking of foundation i went in with the born this way Too Faced, and i went in with the shade sand so i just put it on my metal palette and i just like to use a flat brush and apply it all over my face and i went in with my rebound urban decay spray to help prep my face so it could blend out nice and smoothly so i used a damp beauty blender to just press in this foundation all over my face i sped this portion up so you could see you know for the most part how tedious it is to blend it all out um, and to just take your time and get all the areas underneath your neck and all over your face so then I just added some more foundation certain, in certain areas I felt like I needed more coverage. And then to go on to my concealer, I used Warm Sand by e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. It's really great um, if you want light coverage, full coverage. Either way, it's all about how you apply it. I like to let mine sit sometimes for a while depending on how much time I have. But basically, I put it on my chin, cupid's bow, bridge of my nose, forehead, and underneath my eyes. And I just knew I really wanted to have a decent amount of coverage. It glides on really nicely. So then I also wanted to add some more full cover coverage. So I went in with the shade number 18 by Juvia's Place. And I added that underneath my eyes in the inner portions. So as I let that sit there, I went in with Suede by fenty beauty in her stick and i put it on my cheekbones temples and used that same flat brush i used for my foundation and i applied it to the sides of my nose you always want to go to the socket of the eyes and then bring it on down so i decided that i wanted my contour by my nose at least to be a little darker so i went in with my cream foundation palette so those cream foundations are the black opal foundation stick and I just basically found something that was just a little bit darker and I just chiseled out my nose so then I went in with my Real Techniques buffing brush and I just used tapping motions and pressed in that contour on the areas that we placed the contour cream so then I just got a dense um, eyeshadow brush and I used it to buff out that cream contour for my nose. So as you can see, I'm like buffing it out near my, underneath my brow bone and just smoothed it out. And then I went back in with my damp beauty blender to blend out all of the concealer. As you guys saw, it was sitting there for a while. So I wanted it to get real tacky so it could stick onto my skin more. And as you can see, like it's blending out really nicely. So I like to blend out my concealer blend out my contour some more and then I go back in with whether I use the beauty blender or a foundation brush and I like to just smooth and connect it all together so it's seamless um, so there's no harsh lines so then to set underneath my eyes for the initial set I went in with my translucent loose powder by Laura Mercier and I just take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and press it in to set it while um, there's no creases underneath my eye and then I just took um, the beauty blender and I carved out underneath that contour so it could sit underneath and brighten it up a bit so then it can help make my contour pop some more so I also put in my laugh lines my chin I like to do it on the sides of my nose because on the sides of your nose you build you tend to build up oils there first and then also it does the same thing for the side of the nose where you contour it helps to make it pop a little bit more so you know I just let that sit there for a little bit I was feeling it and then I went in with give me sun by Mac and I set my contour so I'm just using an angled contour brush and using the padding motions going up and down to set that cream contour and then I brought it to the temples 
and then whatever excess product is there on my brush then I bring it across the middle I don't like harsh rainbow contours it's still okay to put cream contour all around your forehead if you would like but you have to make sure you're very strategic with how you blend it out because you don't want to have exactly that a rainbow contour um you want it to flow so then I just used a eyeshadow brush and set the sides of my nose contour to set the rest of my face I went in with medium golden by MAC and I just pressed that powder into all of my face and I used it also to brush away that loose setting powder and it just helps set it all together and then afterwards I always go back in with a damp beauty blender and I press it all into my skin as you can see right here. So once that was done, I went in with Milani's blush. I just got this in my Ipsy bag. It's called, what is this, Sunset Passion? Um, and I really like this. It has a nice, deep, pinky, rosy blush color along with some like highlighter with it. And I'm really liking it. It gives me like nice, deep summer vibes, toasty. I don't know, I'm really feeling it. I'm happy I got it in my Ipsy bag. Um, and I like how it looks on my skin. So I'm just building that on with my blush brush. I like to bring my blush up to my temple so it looks warm, like collectively on my face. I went back in with some Rebound Setting Spray and I'm just using that same beauty blender to blend out that blush. Like I always say in all my videos and I tell my clients, never be afraid if you have too much blush on your face because all you have to do is spray your face with a setting spray and just like tap it all out, whether it's with a brush or a beauty blender. So then I went in with the Fenty highlighter. I went in with Mo Honey. Um, that's the lighter reflective um, highlighter by her, Rihanna. And I just went in with my Morphe highlighter brush and I put it on the sides of my cheekbones, cupid's bow chin, tip of my nose, forehead, and I also like to apply some on my brow bone, which you'll see me do soon. It just helps make it pop. So highlighter is meant to go on all the high prominent places on your face so the light can reflect it nicely. So boom, you pop that there. Whenever you turn to the side or the light hits it, your brow bone will reflect. So just like the blush, I like to go in and use my beauty blender to damp it out, to blend it out. So for eyes, this is a natural makeup application. So I did not prime my eyelids. I'm using the natural oils in my eyes. I just wanted something very neutral because we were gonna put the blue eyeliner underneath. So I just went in with a brown shade for my Morphe palette and I just tapped it onto my lid and then I just used some windshield wiping strokes so it can spread out and I basically just built that color out up it just depends on you know what kind of look you're going for and when you don't use a eyelid primer uh, you do have to build up your product a bit more if you want some heavy color on there um, that is why people tend to use primer on their eyelid because they just want that color payoff from the pigment to really pop. But for this application, no. Straight oils from the eye and put it on and there's already a difference as you can see. So I wanted to toast it up a bit so I went in with a darker shade and put it on the ends of my eyelid. And then I wanted some glitter and... So I just went in with one of my loose glitters from the Glow Up Academy by Kiki Adams. I sprayed my brush and I just put it on my lid and I just popped on some mascara. And it was time for brows. So for brows, I just wanted a natural brow fill in. I didn't want anything too harsh. And I did my other brow which is done so this one you guys can see so you just really want to outline the bottom portion of your brow use hair like strokes for the inner portion of your brow use that spoolie to brush it out and fade it so it looks good so then you just also want to build the top arch part of your brow and then fill in any gaps that you have within the brow and then just brush it out
so this is the cover girl um eye pencil in this nice blue color i really wanted something to make you know a natural look but it still pops so this electric blue was perfect it didn't really give me any problems rolling it on um i just built it up to my liking and i really just focused on putting it on my waterline if you really want to make something like this pop even more you could do like an eyeshadow whether it's a blue or a different color and you could put it right underneath um the waterline as well but i really like this pencil a lot it really gave that extra oomph to it So I lined my lips just with a regular brown pencil and for lipstick I went in with Chic by Juvia's Place the Mauve's Cream Lipstick and I just put that on and then I went in with a NARS lip gloss um, in a pinky shade and I just added that on there just so it could you know be nice and glossed up so I had to rush after this and get ready so I didn't get any footage in my actual glam room but I did get some footage in the car on my way to lunch and this was the look in natural lighting it was a little overcast outside but as you can see the highlighter is popping this is with no filter the lashes that i put on these are flirty by anocious artistry i sell them on my web website the link is in the description down below so if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel just get into the look this is where I went and had lunch at. I was feeling myself, my best friend did my hair. I'll also put her information in the description below. And yeah, thanks y'all for watching.